I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. While I'm on this tedious journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. Y'all ready to join me? Yes, sir. Come on. I want Jesus to walk with me. I don't hear y'all. I want Jesus to walk with me. Jesus to walk with me. Come on, one more time. Y'all got to get enthused with me. Come on. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. Why? To walk with me. Next verse, say, hold my hand. Come on. Hold my hand, Lord. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, Lord. Hold my hand. My hand. Come on. While I'm this tedious journey. Why you always sing that song everywhere you go? Because I know, man, when I was going through it, man, when I was going through it, that's the only song I could hear in my head. That was the only one I could call on. Was God? And the only thing I do is I come to encourage the discouraged this afternoon, man, to ask to ask God to hold our hands while we on this tedious journey. Lord, walk with me while I'm on this tedious journey. Because today you might feel like a failure. In your mind, you might feel like a failure. But somebody didn't tell you that you got to go through it to get to it. Amen. See, one thing about, about being a soldier in this army, man, you got to train. Everything is a boot camp. Everything is a boot camp. Everything is a boot camp. You got to go through training. And I always tell everybody, everywhere I go to, man, that this is a ministry that God got you going through. Because once this battle is over, you're going to be able to tell somebody some things. Amen. Come on now. You're going to be able to, 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 I mean, help millions of brothers out and say, listen, don't give up. So that's the reason why every time I come to the Salvation Lord, I mean, to the firehouse, I start off with, I want Jesus to walk with me. <clears throat> Good evening, my name is Minister Stone. How y'all doing today? Man, y'all give yourselves a round of applause first of all. Let's pray this thing up. Because ain't nothing more irritating. There's no sense of being mad about nothing. T today it's time to smile. Because, I mean, let the truth be told, we easily could have lost our minds, right? Let the truth be told, amen? Amen. Y'all with me back there? We easily could have lost our minds. But doesn't it feel good to know that we serve an a, a omnipotent God? A God that, that, I mean, he watches over us in the time of struggle. Amen. Don't it feel good to know that you're still healthy, even though we might have went through some things? Don't it feel good, though, Amen. to know that you're still... I, I'm going to hit you with this one. Don't it feel good to know that you're still amongst the living? Amen. Hey, man, what if God gave us everything we really deserve? Oh, Lord. Look out. enough. When your funeral would have been? Like yesterday? Tomorrow. Huh? She said tomorrow. 
So, I want more time, man. Can y'all, let, let's, all these men in here, we got, got our own choir in here. Yeah. Let's hit this verse one more time. Because I ain't going to hold you long. Let's hit this verse one more time. The first say, I want Jesus to walk with me. Come on, get on real. I want Jesus Come on, Adam. to walk with me. There you go. Come on, Adam. Why? Yes, yes, yes. Let's just be truthful in here. Isn't God worthy to be praised? Yes, we made to see another month. Yes, another because day. one thing I'm going to tell you, you might have lost some things, but God will replace. Amen. We serve a God that will restore. You might have lost your family. God got a new one for you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you the most humblest way we know how. Thanking you for the blessings that you have stored upon us, O oh God. Thank you for the life, O oh God. Thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way, oh God. For, oh God, our hearts are hurt, oh God. And we ask that you heal our broken hearts, oh God. Mend them, oh God. We ask that you replace everything that we have lost, oh God. Oh Lord, we ask that you put us in the programs that we need, oh Lord. For you are so worthy to be praised. We just thank you for the firehouse and the staff, oh God. We thank you for the people that donate to the firehouse, oh God. We just love you so much, oh Lord. You are so worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 Again. Amen. Real briefly, man, I want to talk to you about from the, the chapter Isaiah uh, 119, 20. I want y'all to remember this and I want you to repeat after me. I'm going to read the verse first, but then I'm going to come back and we're going to do this slowly because I want you to repeat this. And this way you won't be able to say that a minister didn't tell you about this verse. Especially this particular verse. This particular verse is the only verse that really scared me in the Bible. But yet this is the same verse that gave me motivation and some hope. And so before you start thinking that I'm so such a much and you're looking at my suit coat and all this, do you know I sat in the same seat 20 years ago. Huh? Do you know I sat in the same seat 20 years ago? So before you start thinking I'm Mr. Such a much and Mr. Who is this here? You understand? Check this verse out. The verse read, Isaiah, first chapter, I always remember this, the very first chapter, 19th verse, it says, if ye be willingly and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord is spoken. I didn't say this. This is this verse. This is coming from Isaiah. One Bible say, as long as I, I, repeat after me, as long as I, as long as I be, willingly, be willingly and obedient, and obedient I, shall reap I shall reap the good of the land. Good of the land. But, but if, I rebel, if I rebel, I shall be devoured by the sword. I shall be devoured by the sword. One more time, as long as I, as long as I everybody touch your heart. As long as I touch your heart. As long as I, as long as I now, I, 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 be, be willingly and obedient, and obedient. I, I, I shall reap the, the good of the land. But if I, but if I rebel, rebel, I shall be devoured by the sword. I shall be devoured by the sword. Thus the Lord has spoken. That's the Lord. Again, I just say this. The subject I want to use real briefly, fellas, because I understand. Why do we focus on every other letter of the alphabet except I? Mm. Say that again. <laughs> Why? Every recovery center I've well been through from Texas all the way back home to Birmingham, Alabama, the first thing I'm going to hear about is you know about A and you know about B. Man, C messed up. And then D. And then E. You don't even want to hear nothing about L. Oh, man, that's G. I'm so tired of H. I don't know what to do. They skip over I. Mm -hmm. And they go to J. But the C, man, J. 
a matter of fact, let, 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 me, let, me, let me break this down. Why is it that people can tell you about your mess, but they can't seem to look at their own? Watch out now. Come on now. Am I making any sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. Because this verse says, as long as I. As long as I. The letter I be willingly and obedient, I shall reap the good. People in, in recovery all the time, they say, Stone, everywhere you go, how you mix the ministry up with recovery? Because that's what I'm about. Because they say, I had to admit that I was powerless. Uh, nah, come on now, first. See, you can tell me all day that I got a problem, but that don't mean nothing. Until I came to believe that a power greater than myself could restore me to sanity. Watch out now. And then I had to make the decision to turn my wheel over to the care of God as I understood. Then again, it trips me out. They turn around and say, then I had to do a personal inventory to find out how much I really had. Oh, he said, still focused. I'm going to talk to me now. So the question I'm leaving you, when do we start focusing on the letter? What day do we focus on the letter I? I there was a visionary, and, and, and one thing about I loved about this at the beginning of it, it tells about his life. And the first thing this man seen with his own eyes, that first of all, I got to be willingly. Hmm. Not my mama, not my sister. It's one song saying, It's me, oh Lord. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my mama, not my father, but it's me. I get so tired of talking about people. People will tell me, well, the reason why I relapse is because they yeah. and them okay. and those. But they never say, Jesus even says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things to be added. Here we go again with the word ye. I, self. See, I just said, I just started off by saying that first of all, man, we thank God so much that all of us is in our right mind. All of us are still healthy. All of us are still let you slide across the floor. Right? Everybody got some boogie in them, right? Yeah. Watch this one. And everybody got some fight in them too, right? Yeah. I can already imagine. I work right down the street at Edwards, brother. I already see the Amazon fire department. I said, oh, Lord, I hope they end up there fighting. It's amazing how men, men can seem to be worse than women, boy. Men grouch and complain right worse right. than come women, on, huh? Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on, come on, now. Come on, now. Yeah, worse than that woman. Yeah. It's amazing how somebody can always tell you about what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I like that. No, because I, I go to the, and every, 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 every rehab house I go to, this is all to be about. It's amazing how we can focus on everybody else recovering yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, come on with it now. <laughs> ah. Ah. People can write now. Watch this now. So that means what, I'm, what I just said is people can also write about you. They can write everything about you. They can write up, write you up, get you kicked out and everything, but they'll never write themselves up. Mm -hmm. Watch out now. I tell brothers everywhere I go that right now if I was to come in the firehouse, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna be real with you. I fight it in the last one of y'all. I fight you now. Oh, I ready to fight tear this place up with you. <laughs> but it's amazing how I fight every last one of you. Fight me. Well, won't fight I. Ooh. See, I debate with you about A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I skip over the idol. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to J and K and L M O P Q R S till I find you. You like the young folks say sometimes why and all this and what stuff, but I skip all over the letter I. And here is it, here it is, a visionary saying, as long as I be willingly. You want me to go to Mobile to get me some help? Put me down. These are the rules of the firehouse. Let me abide by the rules of the firehouse. Willingly and obedient. What you think that means? 
What do you think it means, being willingly and obedient? Discipline. Discipline. It's discipline. Structure. And it's a self thing. Structure. Structure. It's a self thing. Because I don't know about you, when I sat in these chairs, all I knew is that, Lord, I got to take my family back. All I knew, I was so much even worried about the family, I just wanted my own life back. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Since the brother said serenity, God grant us the serenity, some peace to accept the things I cannot change, which is my past. We can't do nothing about that. Come on now. But the courage to change the things I can, which is right now. Okay. And let me know the difference. Give me the wisdom to know the difference from this stuff. That God got something in store for each one of us as long as we be willing and obedient. What you think gonna happen when God grants you back your house and God grants you back your wife? You still got to be willing and obedient. Amen. Come on now. Life is about choices and decisions. <laughs> any day, even myself, any day, even myself can make the wrong choice. That's right. That's right. The wrong decision. But I don't live like that today. Because I want to say, I want to reap the good of the land. Amen. Yeah, and let me repeat the verse. The verse said, as long as I be willing and obedient, I shall reap the good of the land. How many want to see some good stuff? Amen. I mean, we've seen all the bad stuff. You can tell me about every trap. You can tell me about every, every uh, who got shot, who got stabbed. You can tell me who hustled. You can tell me all the bad things. But tell me some good things. Don't y'all know this fishing weather? Yeah. Good fishing don't y'all know it's basketball season? It's time to take back everything that this enemy has stolen from us. And here right now, Isaiah is giving us basic instructions before leaving this earth. Bible. He's giving us these basic instructions that as long as you be willingly and obedient, you shall reap the good. Amen. You can't tell me that the God I serve is a lie. Amen. 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 Make it a sense to anybody. Right. Yes. Amen. Thank y'all for letting me share. Right. Isaiah 119 20. It's all about I now. Right. Oh, it's not all about you, but yes, it's all about you now. Right. Don't let it get no worse than this. You ain't got to go all the way to the penitentiary and find out that Bible said on Wednesday night. Okay. You ain't got to go all the way to the penitentiary and find out they serve the chicken on Sunday. Oh, mm. Only Sunday. No, don't say Only that. You ain't got to go there. It's time to fight within self. It's time to take that letter I and start focusing on some self. And start looking in these mirrors and start telling yourself that I can do better than this. That's right. It's time to surrender, man. It's time to surrender. You already lost your hustling battle. A monkey can't sell bananas. It's over with. Amen. <laughs> the hustling day is over with. It's time to focus on life and living life on life terms because God saves a wretch like me. Amen. He saved you. You could have been dead sleeping in your grave right now. It's time, fellas. Time is running out. Every time we turn on the news, all the news is saying that where are the men? Where are the men? Are we all are we all in the shelters? Are we all in the penitentiaries? You should see when I go to class at prison. You should see when I go to salvation arm and how many men is at the shelters. Why are we here? It's not a color thing no more. It's all thing. It's all thing. One thing about the Lord, the word of God, because it say, hey, this is the day the Lord had made, right? Let us rejoice. It don't say nothing about black and white. It don't say nothing about black and white. It say, let us rejoice. It's time for us to rejoice and stop having these sad faces every time I walk into the Salvation Army. It's time for us to start our own Big Brothers program and help one another out. Because yes. you ain't mad at me, and you're not even mad at the man sitting next to you. Yeah. You're mad at self. self. Yes, sir. But I come to tell you that you haven't failed. Uh, okay. I come to tell you that you haven't failed. 
It's amazing. We serve an amazing God. And I mean, it's amazing how he has to break you down to the lowest compound to make you surrender. To make you say, I surrender all. You haven't failed. So as we get ready to close our group, let's all stand. And I thank y'all for letting me share. Make sense to anybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen.